Hi, uh, this is Brad with Honey Corporation. Today I'm going to introduce you our digital satellite lamp imaging module. This one called a uh, frontal. And um, this frontal comes with three parts and standard configuration. The main body of frontal, the iron plate, and also the shutter button. So now I'm going to show you how to install the frontal image module onto this lamp. So first step, take out the binocular head. Okay, then we just uh, install the module onto the here. Then we just put back the binocular head onto the module. So the installation of the module onto this lamp is finished. So for the shutter, uh, we need to install the battery. So let me just show you. You need to get a coin to unscrew. Okay. So we got the button battery, and the model number is CR2016. So you just install it over here and put back the cover. And then use coin to screw it. So the button battery is installed fit already. So now I'm going to show you how to just uh, put the plate onto the phone. This is smartphone iPhone, and I already just uh, stick the uh, M plate to the phone cover. So you just need to uh, get the M plate, which has a, a adhesive tape. So just peel it off and put it on, then it's done. Now I'm going to show you how to align the phone camera with the frontal imaging module. So there are two ways to align the phone. One way is that use the built-in camera on your iPhone. So just uh, open it and okay. So the alignment is done. So second way to align the phone with photon image module is use the app we developed called Imaging System. So just open it, and then there's setting up a icon to the right at the bottom. So you just go into the setting up interface, and there is a focus mode. So you just need to turn it on, and then click Save. Now it's ready to align the phone with the image module, just like this. So the alignment is done. And now once the alignment is done, you just go into the setting up interface and turn off the focus mode. And then click save. Then the module is ready to take pictures and videos. Now I'm showing you how to connect the shutter button to the phone through Bluetooth. So step one, go into the setup interface and then scroll down to the bottom. You will see a connect Bluetooth option out there. Before touch it, you need to just uh, push the button to activate it. Push it. Okay, then touch the connect, connect Bluetooth. It begins to scan. Okay. Now the shutter button is found, so you just touch over here, okay, it tells you the button is connected by the Bluetooth, then click save, it's done. So now I will just give you a brief introduction about the interface of the software. There are eight icons with four located at, at each side. On the left side there are four, and then right side another four icons. 
So this one is focus. So you can just adjust the focus to make it in focus or out of focus. And then the brightness adjustment, either get it, make it brighter or darker. And then you got zoom. So the zoom range is about 2.5 2 times magnification at the maximum, like this. And then you got the white balance adjustment as well. And on the right, it has the gallery, patient, and the, the image capture and the video capture mode, and then set up in the other four. So the first step before to take a picture, you need to create a patient. So now let's just create a patient. And you just uh, touch it. So enter the first name, like a bride. And then last name, school. And then you need to choose left eye or right eye. Let's, let's choose the OS, the left eye. And also put the number, say one, two, three, two, three. Then activate. Okay, so the patient ID will show up on the top of the screen. And then now we can just begin to take pictures or take videos. This icon is the switch between videos and the pictures. So now it's in, cap uh, it's in imaging capture mode, this picture mode. How to take a picture? You need to use the shutter button, okay? Okay, so now uh, we take three pictures already. And uh, how to just take a video? Just uh, touch this icon to switch into video mode. So now we are in video mode, okay. Let's just uh, push this button. And a red dot will flag, begin to flash in the screen on the top. So it means it begins to record a video like this. And then we just touch it again to stop the video. So we go into the gallery. Okay, see the video is over here. And then we just uh, click it and then touch it to play it. Okay, so this is a video. And in the gallery, as you can see at the bottom, there are four different uh, functions, options available there. One is just export, the other one is report, and then the third one is delete. And also the last one, but not the least, is to share. Because we use the phone, which means that you can utilize the full function of the phone to do anything with the phone, like you can share the images to any others that you want. The for example, let's say uh, I want to share this picture to one of my friends, and then you can just uh, click, select, and then choose picture. Say, like, I want to choose the two pictures, and then touch the share. So, and then the pop up window will show up and just give you options how you are going to share these images, either just by email or you can just use other chatting, I mean, apps like WeChat. So then you can just send to any other friends you want. And then Okay. So the images is shared already. Um another thing is that uh for the report, we just select these two pictures, and then you can generate a report over here. Okay, see, this is a report format. And that you can just uh, send out by email. So you just enter the recipient email address, and so the report is, will be sent out right away.